Race TV. <laughs> well, welcome Race TV and Education First for the quite lovely Tour de France here in Petit Ballon. Bienvenue à Race TV! If you were to cook dinner for a Rigoberto Oran, what would you cook? Why would I cook for Rigo? I would make pizza because they don't find in Colombia pizza as good as, as the one I do. Fagatella. That's like a Danish uh, meatball. Carbonara is one of my specialties. Hake with potatoes in the oven is my specialty. But now Andre, he knows how to do it as well. A bus country food or no? Oh, no. Yeah. It's a hake with potatoes in the, in the bake and onions. A good one. Uh, beans, the traditional food for my country, for Colombia, bean, uh, chicharron, <laughs> rice, avocado, banana, everything. Uh, I'm a mechanic for EF Pro Cycling. Yakuan Stein, uh, referred as JJ. Wake up in the morning, coffee first. We start our day loading cars, preparing the bikes for each the rider and off we go to the start and then the stage starts. Nelson, tell us a bit, what's the state of mind? Last big stage, are we have some energy left? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's Tour de France, so every opportunity you, uh, you want to take it. We are going to basically put somebody in the breakaway, one of our riders, one of our five riders, and outride, outfox, outsmart, outwit, just generally outperform everybody else in that breakaway, cross the line first. We're going to race with whatever we have left in the tank and yeah, hopefully we can be a big part of the race today. Could be Rigo, grand old man. <laughs> right. Once kilometer zero is gone, race radio, rider radio, uh, information on the race and we go forward from there and see what's happening. 15 seconds for Nilsson. There's crashes, there's uh, mechanical problems. If you stress, the rider's stressed, uh, directors are stressed. So you have to calm the situation and make the decision what you need to do and off they go. They had to, to try to be in the breakaway because it was the only chance for us to, to fight for the stage win. They did it. We saw from the beginning that the UA was trying to control the race and uh, for, for Pogacar. And, uh, I mean, they controlled the race and they won the race. So, congrats to them. And I think that our riders they did a good job to be there and to grab the opportunity they had. Yeah, straight after the finish, uh, our seniors prepare the cherry juice. Feels pretty good. <laughs> Suffering's over. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, I raced with everything that I had left in me in the first 35k, and I got into a pretty good move, but um, yeah, I just ran completely out of energy. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. This is my sixth season with EF. I've been in Europe uh, since 2017. I'll give you guys a quick trip around the truck on the inside. All the bikes for the tour um, during the stages of a year, TT bikes over that side, and obviously the riders that left the tour for us. Then we start with the 45 vision wheels. Obviously inside on that side, it's all the car wheels, and then it starts over to the flat stages wheels. We have two cards, both equipped exactly the same. So each mechanic has every single part in here, and then obviously the Markov products. Then we start from on the hot days, the air conditioning, uh, Shimano parts going down to the Markov cupboard, that's here, with every single product in there. 
our own washing machine and then overhead storage from sponges to cassettes to handlebars power meters everything is happening up here my two box is obviously from the big box to a small box we choose for in the car now uh, during the years I've created my own toolbox like how I wanted it so it's basically set up um, it depends which uh, which side I flip it on but obviously I have my Allen keys here uh, small torque wrenches obviously the DI2 cables for updating software the fishing cables for DI2 cables Markov gloves very important tape measure and basically it's all the tools that we use nowadays on the, on the bikes. Getting reports from Richard's doctor, uh, his rehabilitation is coming along pretty well. Um, he started to ride just a little bit, like super light training, probably a, a week or two away from being able to hit really hard training. Um, but we're doing the best we can to support him in his comeback. Uh, we're definitely going to send one of our best one years, Paul Navin, down to Ecuador to live with him and work with him every single day until he's able to return to Europe, uh, you know, around a month from now. So we're pretty happy that uh, that was Paul volunteered to do that job. Yeah, try not to watch as much telly as possible because with concussion you have to uh Limit your screen times and stuff, you basically just gotta sit here and do absolutely nothing. So I've been absolutely bored. Um, been eating well though. Um, been catching up on all the crappy foods that I uh, that I sacrificed to prepare for the tour. Ridden today for the second time, just did 30 minutes on the kicker on the indoor trainer. I felt awful yesterday, truly awful. Like I genuinely didn't think I was gonna make 30 minutes. Um, but it came around a lot today, felt much better today. And uh, yeah. I've been doing a lot of dog walking as well because I think that's the only other thing I've been allowed to do. So, yeah, onwards and upwards. Hopefully, there's more good stuff to come. Moon River. I think it turned into a. Because you were featuring the fine French scarf. Oh, you're a tucked out kind of guy, not tucked in. <laughs> <laughs>